look uneasy. Me? No, no. I'm easy, mate. I'm very, very easy. I am the definition of simplicity. She's in the bedroom then, this bit of stuff? There's nobody here. I, look, mate, I, I've told you. It's a definite familiar smell. As if... As if I smell it every day. It's probably just the talc I use. Lloyd. What? It's not Becky, is it? <laughs> of course it's not Becky. Oh, no, of course it's not, because she's working. And Michelle's at home, so it can't be Michelle either. Michelle? With my luck. I'm doing the right thing, aren't I? What? Bidding Michelle for Becky? Yeah. Yeah, mate. Of course you wanna go. Go and face the music. Really? You're getting on me breasts. One more brandy. Hey, there you go, kid. Ooh. So many baths I had today out of sheer boredom. Three. Three? <laughs> Really? Three? Must be clean as a whistle. I want to be working, not washing. You only had one ticket for today, though. I'm not bothered about some poxy trade fair. Well, you did say there's plenty in the pipeline. Pipeline? That's like irons in the fire. You know, no work. That's what it means. It's up there with checkers in the post. Well, a bit of cynicism's healthy enough. Oh, come on, David. People are always going to want new kitchens. Otherwise, where are they going to cook? In their existing kitchens. Ones they'll make do with. All right. All right, Chief. I was just doing a crossword. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was it two across you were stuck on or uh, one down? I'm just waiting for a client to get back from work so I can do a quote. Yeah, don't worry. Secret's safe for me. Right, wish me luck. I have done a few times now. Ooh, keys. Hey, these are my mum's keys. Are they? Yeah, where'd you find them? Find them? Yeah, she lost them earlier, so where'd you find them? Oh, in the gutter outside Audrey. She must have dropped them there. Well, I'll uh, give them to her. Yeah, good on you. Save me a job. Say hello to her from me. Who? Your mum. What? Why? No reason. Hey, it's a good job it's not her perfume I can smell, cos put that together with these keys, I might think it's her you're knocking off. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Steve, anyone? No, thanks. <laughs> Not yet. Right, I'm gonna phone you. Now then. <sighs> Long Island iced tea, is it? Yeah, two sugars. <laughs> Are you uh, fancy doing something when you finish? Got a girly night planned. Me and Ailes. All right, yeah. What's that entail? Oh, you know, looking through catalogues, talking about lads. Serious? Where is she? I swear to God, I am not sleeping with your mother. Don't even say that! Well, what do you expect me to say? Listen, kid, come on, come on, come on. You're tired. You've got a big night ahead of you. She's in this room, isn't she? You listen to yourself. She's hiding, possibly behind that chair. What? Your mum is hiding behind that chair. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Are you losing your marbles? If my mum had a pound for every chair she is hidden behind, every wardrobe, every window, every drain Steve! You're making a fool of yourself. Mother! What? Listen, though, mate. Mum, come out of there with your hands up! No, I didn't mean literally with your hands...
clients though, not back then. What? Oh no, no, not yet. No, uh, they've just texted me to say they're on their way. Right. Okay, walk you up then, innit? Not a very good advert for business, keeping on the job. Yeah, it is. <laughs> hey, we started calling people at the garage clients. But then we went back to customers, we just couldn't get our head around it. <laughs> right. And now, we call them clients again. How mad's that? Anyway, keep it real. Yeah, you too. She's my mother! Well, look on the bright side, kid. It could have been your dad. Oh, how would you like it? What, if you're knocking off my mum? Well, I wouldn't mind so much, but she'd hate it. He's got enough on his plate with two of them. Shut up, mother. I'll deal with you when we get home. And I'll deal with you now! Come on, kid, let's go for it. I was born between those legs! Uh, yes, we know where it is, thank you. Exactly what crime have we committed? It's an unspoken rule! Yeah, and you play by the rules, don't you, Steve? You're hopping in bed with half a Weatherfield. As soon as I get a little bit of tail, you can't handle it. Tail? My mother's not tail. You tell him, Steve. Well, whatever she is, she's the best I've had in a long time and I'm not giving her up because of a big, fat mummy's boy like you. Yes, you tell him, Lloyd. Mummy's boy? Mummy's boy. Oh, mother's boy. Mummy's boy. There's only one mummy's boy round here and that's you! Except that's my mummy! <laughs> 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 Right then, Pops, will you manage? It's what I do. Night, Jay. If you change your mind. So it's next Monday? Yeah, a week today. 12th of January. My lucky day. And why is it your lucky day? Because I'm getting married on it. Oh, I thought you meant it's been your lucky day. It passed. No. And you have a reception here, yeah? Oh, aye, yeah. Though Liz said she'd only be able to do sandwiches and crisps and that. Well, I'll do the buffet. No, no, we'll be fine with sandwiches, honest. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I'll lay on some proper cold meat, some pork pies, Cumberland sausage rolls, just sell this to cancel. Cheese nays rank anyway. Hey, that's enough of that. Hey, I'm doing it whether you like it or not. It's our wedding present. Really? Yeah, if that's all right. Oh, nice one, mate. I'll be blinding. So when's your mercy stag do? Friday. Hi, <laughs> right, lads. All right, Jace. Ready for another? Think of worse things. Three pints, please, love. And some of them cheese and onion butters if you've got any. Finally, where have you been? I've got a taxi waiting. We are not going anywhere. Listen to this. I, uh, I bumped into a pal of mine. Rep for Zuckerman and Kinnear. The, uh, sink and tap people? Yeah, it says they've a warehouse full of unwanted, so we barely have to pay for them. Sounds promising. As long as it's legal. Of course it's legal. Is there any news on that work we've got lined up? Yeah, still waiting on some calls. Uh, it's cold out there, fella. But don't panic. Spring follows winter, things change. Why don't we eat out tonight? Hang on, I'm not getting paid. Yeah, he's, he's right, it doesn't seem fair. Could cripple a pint, though. Well, we could try that place on the corner they call the Rover's Return. <laughs> how long? How do I know how long? We didn't sit down and discuss it. Too busy flipping, hyperventilating. Mm, well. She has had a spring in her step for a while. Lloyd! Lloyd! How old is he? 44! Right, and she's, what, 51? That's got nothing to do with it. Oh, we can double date. I just keep getting these images. Arms, legs, hair, tongues. You know what? He would make a lovely granddad for Amy. This isn't a joke. Why are you making a joke out of this? And you do need a stepdad. Of course, now they've been caught, they're going to be floating it, aren't they? Kissing in public, arms round each other at the bar. You'll go to the toilet in the middle of the night and bump into him. I'm supposed to listen to his details now. When his details are about my own flipping mother. Well, I tell you something now, I won't be listening to those details. What details? You know what details? Banter, women, conquests. Not that there's uh, been any uh, uh, conquest because, of course, he's only had a sex life now. Oh, God, I'm going to be sick. I'm actually going to be physically sick. So, um, Steve, what exactly do you tell Lloyd about me, then? What? 
I don't discuss me and you with Lloyd. Oh, right, I see. So, so it only works one way then, does it? You know, this is very interesting, Steve. I am really glad we're having this conversation. I am just merely illustrating a point. And what was all that not win my look about when Michelle were mentioned? I was trying to put him off the scent, literally. She'll be single in the morning. I'm not going to be chasing after Michelle, Liz. <gasps> OK, then, so let's get back to your little chat with Vernon. I was trying to be flirtatious, OK? It backfired. Come on, now, don't start all that already. That? Yeah, paranoia. Suspicion. I mean... Can't we just enjoy ourselves for a little bit before all that kicks in? This is still supposed to be the good bit. Fair enough. I mean, at least it's out in the open now, eh? Steve was the only one we were worried about. He took it OK. Took it OK? I don't have to see him object. <laughs> what I mean is, you'll continue to be his mum and I'll continue to be his mate. He said you were dead to him. Figure of speech. So, are you going now? Well, I could do without the press conference, to be honest. Me too. Look, you know, it all depends on whether you care what he thinks or not, cos personally, I don't. I've had it to the back teeth with his love life. Michelle, Becky, Becky, Michelle, he makes it all look decisive. Hmm. So, I'm a bit of tail, am I? Not half. <laughs> You're not so bad yourself. Cool, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about this. It's all right. As long as you don't call it shrapnel. I hate it when people call it shrapnel. Um, hang on a minute. Uh, have you got 60p? <laughs> For you? <laughs> I've got 70. It's your, your dry roast at peanuts that did for me. I've left my wallet at yours. So you've been busy, mate? Yeah, just got a new contract. Lucky, really. Bill's been giving it all out, hasn't he? Got to find some new lads. Hard to find decent grafters these days. Well, scared a bit, aren't they, these young uns? Yeah. Oi! Fell the power tailor! He come with a watch. <laughs> Playing the winner. Yeah, whatever. Hey, uh, just hearing what you said, you're not after any kitchen fitters, are you? Nah, not really. Labourers, if you know any. Builders all the join me. No problem. Sorry, pal. Well, we haven't been seeing each other. You know, we've, we've kept it all above board until he's, you know, he's free, like. Apart from the odd kiss. And I slept with him once. But apart from that, all laugh used to have an expression. Hey, don't tell anyone, will you? Not until it's all official, like. No, no, of course I won't. But, Becky, please remember, if Steve does go through with this tonight... If he goes through with it, he does. Well, if, if he's been saying it for a while... Yeah, he has, but... Come on, have a bit of faith. In Steve MacDonald. The problem is, you see... I'm in love with him. I mean, what does that say about my mother? Eh? Have you seen Lloyd's flat? Have you seen his eating habits? Talk about frying pan into the fire. The guy is a low life, a slob. And take away the fact that he's single and he's, and he's Dex. And what have you got? You. And his morals. My mother left at the mercy of Lloyd Milani's morals. Oh. Anyway, I thought we were supposed to be talking about us tonight. Us? Us? I'm not talking about us. My mum has just been in Lloyd Milani's boxer shorts. There's no way I'm talking about us. Steve, I have got two words for you. Consenting adults. And I've got two for you. Dis and ghosting. And can we just get back to this business of details? Look, I've already told you I do not discuss our relationship with Lloyd. Well, I discuss our relationship with my mates. Like who? Carla. Becky, Maria. Becky. Oh, shut up, shut up. I am such a sucker for this song. Well, you know, 
don't have to be a sucker for this one, it's a classic. Mm. Hey, red, red wine. <laughs> this reminds me of Lloyd, he loves UB40. Then he has got very good taste. Well, apart from when it comes to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Steve. Listen, Lloyd, it's the funniest thing in years. You must live a very unhumorous life if you think this is the funniest thing in years. Well, yes, I do, because I have been living with you for the last two years. <laughs> what have I got to do to get a smile out of you, eh? Could have been worse, you know. Could have been me, Lloyd, was seen. <laughs> oh, oh, finally, he smiles. Curran? Where'd you stand on how it's Curran, Mo? For what it's worth, I think she's absolutely fantastic. I've, um, just been to the library to look into what happened to you. From what it says, it's as painful as childbirth. Yeah, well, it is. Only I don't like to complain. The, uh, the first website that came up was something about famous urban myths. It's never an urban myth. Fancy that. And it actually happened to me. Should have done your research, Jackie. Boobs exploding on planes. Doesn't happen. All right, fair dues. There was flies on me when I said that, but a little tip for you, Moll. Anyone who goes to a library between the ages of six and 65 wants to look around. There is such things in life as gin, a ciggy, people of the opposite sex, or even the same sex, if that's the way you're inclined, and all power to them, too. So what are you doing here? Looking for another meal ticket? After that concoction last night, there's my auntie Pam blowing herself up on knockoff diesel, you and your exploding chest. I could have told Cherie about that biofuel. A calamity waiting to happen if ever there was one. Yeah, well, hindsight. Now, if I could run a car on tears, I'd be all right. I can tell you that much more. You might be able to fool that big soft lump time and time again. Now, I won't have a word said against Jack Duckworth. He's been like a grandfather to that boy of mine. But I am a different proposition altogether. You know, that's a few times I've heard you say that. But it just makes me think there's nothing in it. It has terrible side effects, what happened to me, Moll. Honest to God, intermittent ringing in my ears. That's the phone! Hello? Speaking? What? Hey, you're right. You can't turn up this afternoon. Sorry? When I saw you on Tile Street. Oh, he's been in Warrington all day at a trade fair. Yeah, I gave a quote on me way back. He rolled in finally, you know what it's like. Well, not really, no. They come to us, don't they? <laughs> but I had to wake him up, he was drooling and everything. Mm. The work will come. Exhausting yourself with worry, are you? Not at all. It was a long day. I barely shut my eyes when he saw me. Hi, <laughs> Tyrone. Actually, where's Tyrone? You just got the bug. Well, what's the matter? It's me dad. Dead? Not dead. He's appendix. It bursts like a pack of the crisps. Is that all? Tyrone! Double body when you're ready, i.e. now. Well, she might be upset. I mean, he can't just dash off, can he? Well, I hope he can't. I hope he's got a heart. Have you seen what they're like? They're like... an episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. Yeah. They're at each other all the time, but deep down... it's love. It's love. And that man from Everybody Loves Raymond. Raymond, they call him. Hmm. He's never gonna leave his wife. You can see that straight away. Well, that's who Steve is, you see. Steve is Raymond. And Michelle is... I've forgotten what wife's called. Deborah, Deborah, Deborah she's called. Have, have you seen that episode where she's got PMC and... and... And he records it on a dictaphone. No, I don't think so. It backfires on him horribly. <laughs> I, I did miss that in Mozambique. He's not coming, is he? Oh, Becky. No, I... no, no, stop trying to break my fall. He's not coming. 
I'm John Kazing. You don't say. I'm enjoying myself tonight, though, despite everything. Yeah. Haven't you? Yeah, I suppose I have. Well, at least we've had a laugh, eh? Makes a change, doesn't it? Yeah. You're never gonna leave me, are you? No. And we're not gonna split off, are we? No. Good. Right, come on then. Let's go to bed. Alright. That wine's gone straight to my head. Mine too. <laughs> Next. Seven women have all been murdered over a 12-year period. New gripping drama. I think she can handle it, boss. Of course she can. Above Suspicion is at nine. Whilst over on ITV2, it's our action thriller, The Mummy. And on ITV4, it's Sanctuary.